Right now, guys, let's have a look. There you go. Peachtools.com. Hello, my friends. How you going today? Now, I don't know if you guys have got the same trouble as me, but I've been using a 65 amp single phase plasma cutter lately, and what I've found is, guys, that I keep blowing the circuits in my workshop. Now that's really, really annoying because when you go cut something, especially because I'm cutting like 20 millimeters at the moment, I'm just trying out these machines, and when you go and cut something this thick, you're right in the middle of your cut and then boof, everything goes out. The lights go out, the compressor goes out, and all the rest of it. Now I'm only running 16 amps in my workshop at 240 volts, or 220, 240 volts. Now I want to know if you guys have got the same problem. I've figured out a way to fix it, but it's a bit of a Mickey Mouse way to do it. I think so anyway. Same as usual, you like my videos, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and come say good day in the comments below, and tell me your thoughts, guys. So if we have a look up here, guys, you can see I'm running 16 amps. See the 16 amp there? Now what happens is, as soon as the compressor starts, all the circuit breakers whack down, and I've basically run out of power. Here, I'll show you what happens. So if I turn my machine on, oh, I've had much the same trouble even with the 50 amp. If I go down to 30 amp, it's not so bad. But the minute you go over 50 amp, she really starts to suck the juice out of the garage. So as you can see, guys, we're at 65 amp here, which is the maximum, and I'm running at about 67 psi. So if I go and try and cut this lump of 20 mil steel, which is this machine's not supposed to cut, by the way, but anyway, you know, you push these things to the limit. I'll show you what happens. Right here guys, let's try and cut it. See, see what happened there guys? Everything's just dropped out. Plasma cutter stopped, lights are gone out, compressor didn't even try and start, it just went boof. So maybe that was just a one off. So let's try it again. I'll go and reset the breakers and we'll see what happens. Right. Let's have another go. See if it blows it again, guys. All right. Take two, Pete. Take two. <laughs> Even less time that time, guys. Just boof, and she's gone. Now that really, really gets up my nose, guys. So the only way I could figure out how to stop it was, and you guys may have some better ideas, so remember to put them in the comments below. When I got this workshop wired up a few years ago, it was the maximum amount of amps I could have out here in the shed. So basically I'm stuck with it, guys. So the only solution that I could come up with was with this. And it's not really a brilliant solution, but I've got a really heavy duty extension lead. And before you say anything, guys, I realize that you're not supposed to run these things on an extension lead. You're also not supposed to run your compressor on an extension lead. But if you're sort of like backed into a corner like me, you gotta give it everything you go once, say. Eh? So I'm probably about 12 meters from my kitchen. Now in my kitchen, I have an electric range, an electric stove that we cook with, and that's running a 20 amp circuit on it. So my theory was, plug this into the 20 amp circuit, plug it into the plasma cutter, and then see how we go. And guys, I'll show you the difference. Another thing I've learned with these extension cords, my friends, if you're running a plasma cutter with them, don't leave them curled up because it's like a bloody heating element and they'll start to burn. So yeah, that's a trick for young players as well. Anyway, I'll plug this in to the plasma cutter. Here we go. See if this makes any difference. Here we go guys, we're at 66 PSI, 65 amp again. And right now, I've got it running on two different circuits. This is hooked up inside, like I said. The compressor is hooked up to the circuit in my workshop. Let's see how far we can cut this time, guys.
there guys, to the lock. There you go, here. Now as you can see, that's a lot better guys. We managed to cut all the way through it without blowing the fuses. So that's the idea why I can do it. But I still don't think I get enough power out of that extension cord to get the maximum out of this machine. Pete thinks he needs some more power somehow. And also guys, the extension cord is starting to get hot. Anyway, my friends, if you've got any better ideas that I can sort my workshop out and actually get a bit more grunt out of my machinery, I'd sure appreciate it. Same as usual, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Look up the top. I'll put some other videos for you to have a look at. And we'll see you next time, mate. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.